Greetings everyone, my name is Caroline Gregory. I'm a freshman student at the University of Arkansas. I am here to give you a virtual tour inside the renowned art piece, the St. Louis Cathedral. Located in the heart of Jackson Square in the French Quarter in New Orleans, Louisiana. The construction of the cathedral was highly influenced by the French culture of New Orleans. The cathedral is one of the symbols of the city itself. The cathedral has undergone three main reconstructions to become what it is today. The first architect, the first original architect of the cathedral was French military engineer Adrien de Pagere. The modern day cathedral was originally intended to be designed and built by French architects J and B de Poyer and Kerwan, but architect Alexander H. Sampson replaced them after the cathedral collapsed during an era in reconstruction. Each architect had a close relationship with the piece, incorporating their own style and cultural background into the design. This is according to the St. Louis Cathedral website. The St. Louis Cathedral is the oldest Roman Catholic cathedral in the United States. It got its name after being dedicated in honor of King Louis IX of France. The cathedral has been an architectural icon starring in numerous movies and TV shows. It has survived catastrophic events such as Hurricane Katrina in 2004, which devastated the city of New Orleans. An interesting fact about the cathedral is that it was upgraded to the status of minor basilica after it was visited by Pope John Paul II in September 1987. This, a minor basilica just simply means that it is more noteworthy than a cathedral in the Catholic Church. This is according to the New Orleans Tourist website. Seeing the cathedral in person was an unexplainable experience, and one of the main reasons I chose to do a video for this project was to show the audience the magnificence of the overall piece. The architects and artists incorporated a variety of styles while constructing the cathedral. The main asset as Aspects included were carried on from the Romanesque period when the first cathedral was constructed. However, the modern-day cathedral was significantly influenced by the late Neoclassicism and early Romanticism style, along with Spanish colonial and Gothic, Gothic architecture. This is according to the St. Louis Cathedral website. The interior layout is most similar to the layouts as seen in St. Etienne and Chartres cathedrals except with differences of of having a wider nave or central aisle of the building and a lower ceiling. There are cluster piers that hold up the skeleton of the structure and stained glass windows that line along the walls to commemorate the commemorate scenes of the life of Jesus. The most noteworthy aspect, aspect that reflects Gothic architecture are the three-pointed arches or sp sp spires which are steeples that can be seen from the exterior view. These extend high into the sky and are very skinny. This is according to a Western, a history of Western art, which is our textbook. The image, this image, figure one, shows the grand president presence of the cathedral and why it is one of the symbols of the city of New Orleans itself. From looking at the image, it is hard to tell at first glance which materials are used to create such a colossal piece. The medium used to create the cathedral was stone and iron specifically for the steeple, but mainly wood was used to construct the cathedral as stone was scarce in lower Louisiana Louisiana at the time of construction. The exterior appears to look like a cream polished stone and gray color and has gray-colored iron steeples. The front of the cathedral faces towards the Mississippi River. It sits right behind the Garden of Jackson Square. It is approximately 200 feet in length and 100 feet in width. The St. Louis Cathedral is very prominent in the French Quarter. It is a reflectance of the core religious values of the city of New Orleans, which is predominantly Catholic because of its French influence influence. The complex history of the cathedral causes the architecture to derive from many influences. The first construction in the Romanesque period centered the majority of its artwork around religious um, pieces um, like, the, like by constructing cathedrals, churches, and monasteries mainly. However, the majority of the cathedral, at least what was passed down to the modern-day cathedral, came from Gothic architecture characteristics as I described before. The current cathedral was constructed in the late Neoclassicism and early Romanticism period, as mentioned before, which was centered around antiquity and was led by French revolutionists, and specifically fo focused on revival of other art styles, including Gothic art and Greek and Roman art forms, too. This is according to A History of Western Art, which is our textbook. 
One similar cathedral built in France around the same time was time period was Marcel Marcel Cathedral in France. This the exterior of this cathedral is very different from the cathedral in New Orleans. The cathedral is not one color, all one color at all. It has a stripe-like appearance and has two only two arches, which are rounded instead of pointed. While the Saint Louis Cathedral has three arches, there are almost identical crosses at the top of these arches, like the ones on the Saint Louis Cathedral. There. Are on the Marcel cathedrals, there are also uses of tympanum relief style with statues above the doorway. The interior of this cathedral is very vibrant and uses dramatic colors and is completely painted, while only the ceiling of the St. Louis Cathedral really has um, the majority of paintings. Overall, the cathedral is more similar to the Taj Mahal than it is to the St. Louis Cathedral. This is according to the Office de Tourisme of Marcel website. Um, overall, I chose the St. Louis Cathedral, um, particularly because of my close personal ties to it. My grandparents used to live in New the city of New Orleans, so I got to visit the cathedral during our, during our frequent family vacations to the city. The cathedral was always one of my favorite sites because of its massive size, and every time I saw it, I'd be in awe of how it was even possible to construct such a wonderful piece. I always asked my grandparents how anyone had a ladder big enough to paint the ceiling that high to paint a ceiling that high. This particular piece of American artwork made me feel like I was on vacation somewhere in France touring an old chapel or cathedral. The murals on the ceiling remind me of the exquisite artwork of Michelangelo in the Sistine Chapel. Thank you so much for watching my video on the St. Louis Cathedral. Here is my work cited.